Yes, guys! I need to get an intro for this, right? Um, because Yes, guys is not banging. Let me move this down a bit because I want to get the wavy arms in. Got the little brown college logo hoodie on today. Um, so, updates. Today is... Can you see that? It is today. It is recording this at three minutes to six. It is the 19th of January. Um, and if you haven't already told, if you can't already tell... I'm in a much better place this week. Um, I feel like episode one was called Getting Back To It. Episode two was struggling to get back to it. Episode three is back at it. Um, I've been in a way, 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 way better place today. Um, quick story while we're here. Um, the importance of... Um, do you know how sometimes you think to yourself, oh, should I message them, check if they're cool? Like, should I message them, check if they're all right? Um, after I posted the video last week, um, my girlfriend's brother's girlfriend, girlfriend texted me and was like, Purdy, shout out to Purdy if she's watching, um, just texted me and was like, yes, like new video up. And then obviously watched the video and then texted me and was like, hey, like look, like if you're, you're ever feeling down and cold, like whatever, because I said about being cold um, in my flat, she was like, you're always welcome to come around and stay with us. Um, and like, do you know what I mean? I, I probably won't because it's difficult to stay there. But the fact that she offered and she texted me, I honestly felt so much better after just having someone like shout me and say, look, we're here if you need it. So moral of the story is if you are on the fence about texting someone or you're thinking maybe I should text them see how they are maybe I should text them and offer them some support do it because I felt way better shout out to Purdy you're a real one appreciate you um, because that small message and gesture of you yeah just checking and offering um, your support sorted me out um, oh yeah I went into the week feeling good um, can't remember what I did this weekend but it was pretty good now onto the good stuff the good 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 bits the website is now finished bar one or two points hoping it's going to drop next week really excited for you to see it it is a lot faster than our old site which should help usability um, and allow you guys to get around the site as good as possible all of our finances were sorted out last week this is Tank he's coming on he's he come on to talk um, to say hello this is Tank. Um, all of our finances were sorted um, beginning of the week. Um, they were sent over to my new advisor. We're now working on um, the plan for the year um, in terms of stock, what products we're going to bring through, stuff like that. Um, that was something that was was weighing over me um, and yeah, finally managed to get it sorted. Um, found a potential new designer um, who is going to come on board freelance. This guy's the real McCoy, really, really excited to work with him. Um, seen stuff that he's designed for other people, seen stuff that he's designed concept pieces, bang him. Can't wait to see where that goes. And we're in the early stages of just talking about things and, you know what I mean, as, as you are. But it looks like we will work with him moving forward and believe he's going to bring some real flavour and you guys should be excited this week. On a side note, been thinking about doing a football top. Um, so let me know in the comments below or DM us if you're up for that. Um, I've just seen some cool, like, do you know what I mean, Pata, Palace, all them kind of brands um, sometimes do kind of concept football tops. Um, and I think it'd be cool to do a Boys Get Sad 2 football top. We just do it in limited numbers, maybe like 50, 100 pieces. Um, but yeah, could be cool. On top of that, also found someone that's going to come on board to help us with our um, creatives. Um, so content, creatives um, and stuff like that. So I've had a very busy week. Have a meeting tomorrow with my advisor. Um, yeah, uh, I have spoken to a few different TikTok influencers who have asked whether they could do a post for us, which is super, super cool. But just generally in a much better place this week, generally feeling a lot happier about coming back to work after Christmas and generally just feeling a lot more motivated. Now, I saw a post by Mindset by Dave and he was talking about grief, but the way he was talking about grief was the way I feel about my mental health. And it was that as time goes on, he said, with grief, it's like waves when your grief's early it's like lots of big heavy waves crashing one after the other and as time goes on the waves don't disappear but, but they come easier they become easier to manage they become less frequent and when they come they are less big now 
obviously he's talking about grief there, but that's how I feel about my mental health. When I'm in a good place, do you know what I mean? When I'm, when I'm happy uh, and I'm, I'm feeling more positive about life, the waves are a lot further spread out. Um, they're, they're crashing not as hard as they usually would. And then as I'm feeling down and low, it feels like the waves are huge and they're slapping on top of me, giving me, what do they, what do they call it? Oh, I know when you belly flop, but I can't remember what they call it, but it's giving me that noise when you belly flop on the water and it goes slap and it really hurts. That's how it feels. And I feel like when I'm in a good place, they're much further between, but I always have to be aware that at some point another wave is going to come. So I always need to keep an eye on it. So I thought that was a pretty cool um, analogy um, for yeah m how I feel about my mental health in general um, and how maybe potentially a lot of you feel. Um, what other stuff's happened this week? Couldn't, I can't remember. I should have, I should have made a, a note, but I thought I'd much rather just speak to the camera and it feel a little bit more raw and real. The heating is on. The heating is on, by the way. Probably also why I've got a bit of a smile on my face. Um, my girlfriend's been home all week, so we've had the heating on. It's not cold. The dog's been on the heated blanket. We're living out here. Um, yeah, not looking forward to seeing what the heating bill will be this month, but, you know, whatever it is, um, it will be. Um, and, yeah just felt super motivated. I believe last month's, last week's video was 260 something views. We need to beat that this video. So if you can share this video with your friends, um, tell them about what we're trying to do. The, the goal is to just beat the views last week, this week, even by one, That that's the goal. So we just one more view than the previous week and any more on top of that is an absolute bonus, right? And lesson to anyone starting from zero feels kind of like oh you know like when I posted it I was a little bit like well stupidly like do you know what I mean my brand's got 75k on insta like is it going to make me look I don't know like a bit stupid that I'm going to post my own youtube videos and they're probably going to get like 10 views for like a period of time like is that a reason not to do it because it's going to make me look like a bit bit stupid and I was like nah scrap that you can't get to 10,000 views if you don't start at 10 views. So thank you to everyone that's viewed. Thank you to everyone that's subscribed. And let it be a lesson to you. If you don't start today, you're never going to get to your goal. And only you stop yourself from getting there by stopping yourself taking that first step. Because you don't, you can't get to 10,000 if you're not willing to look like, oh, you know, I'm running a YouTube channel with 10 views. Like, if you're not willing to run something with 10 views, then you're never going to get to 10,000 views, are you? So, I, I don't really care what people see or people think of my YouTube. It's just that kind of thing in the back of your head where you're like, oh, I don't really want people to laugh. But then you kind of be like, hold on a minute. Like, I don't really care if people laugh at me anyway. Like, at least I've got 10 views, you know? That's what I always think to myself. It's 10 views more than most of the people that are going to be laughing at you because most of them have a dream themselves that they don't go and do. So you just go and do what you want and don't let people hold you back or judge you. And trust me, those people that judge you and say, it's never going to work, you're not going to do that. They'll be the people that when it's like a success or when you've got 10,000 views or when you've made that business or when you've got that A star at A level or when you've gone to that university, they'll be the people that will go, oh, well, mate, look, oh, I never expected you to do that. Well done. And you can be like, they're like, mm, you doubted me and I know you doubted me, but I'm just going to say thank you anyway because any like word of encouragement or congratulations is always hugely grateful so yeah I am literally speaking at 150 miles an hour right now um but yeah that's how I feel like my brain's been this week super motivated super on it um what's coming up um not really too sure not really too sure next week uh, continue building, hopefully get the new website up, have my um, meeting with my advisor tomorrow, hopefully do more views on this video than we did last week. And yeah, just continue to keep at it. Um, I'm going to try and get as many new designs in process or out the other end as soon as possible. And yeah, can't really think of much else. Oh, we had a, um, a post that someone did on LinkedIn, popped off. I think it did like nearly 700,000 views, 7,000 comments, um, likes, loads of stuff. And the person that posted it was being interviewed by um, uh, the Dutch um, like local newspaper and stuff because he'd done a post about Boys Get Sad too, talking about like, um, yeah, m male mental health 
with our product and yeah um thanks to him um i can't remember the name but thank you so much and yeah that is basically it this is 10 minutes um this has been episode number three no clue what i am gonna call it um but thank you so much for coming along watching my video i would hugely appreciate it if you've made it to the end you can share this on your story share it on your facebook share it on your linkedin get as many people to watch it as possible and i massively appreciate it um so yeah uh, have a good rest of your week. Um, if you're not having a good time, make sure you speak to someone, friends, family, uh, someone um, you support. Like I said, Purdy checked if I was cool and made me feel so much better. And the power that we have to support and help each other is so big and so powerful that if you can and you're in a place where you can extend your hand to someone, I would hugely recommend it. If you don't have someone that is also okay there are some amazing organizations that will help and support you and give you um, the love um, advice that you need I would recommend you go to the comment section or the description section below whatever it is click it and I have put a list um, of people that are signposted um, one the, uh, a 24 hour call line one a call line um, calms call line I think it's like five till midnight and then we've got an online web chat and someone that you can text so we've covered all bases for you to get the support that you need sometimes you don't have family sometimes you don't have friends or sometimes you just want to speak to someone that you don't know and get some impartial do you know what I mean words of support they are the people you need to speak to. They are there. They want to support you um, and they want to help you. So go and use these resources um, to make yourself feel level, uh, good, um, in a better place because you shouldn't be living your life miserable. And yeah, you should get that support that you need. So thank you to everyone. Um, and yeah, we did it last week, so we're going to do it again. It's I've been Kyle Snanger. You've been amazing. And uh, catch you in the next one.